look, if the GPA of this class goes below 4.0, the class will explode. This is your fault. No! No! Calm no! down. No! Calm down. Okay, we're just waiting for TJ to come in and turn in his final. If he does, we're fine. Oh, TJ, good. So, you have your uh, final project ready? What project? Your final project that you have to turn in. You have it ready? No. You fool. You have doomed us. We're finished. I... Hey, everybody, get out of here! Get out of here! Do it! Do it! Go, 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 let's move! Go, let's move! Go! 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 Do it! Go, go. Do it! Do it! Out of here! Go! Go! Senor, you don't have to be the one to sacrifice yourself. Yes, Keith, I do. I have to feel my skin burn and boil. Feel excruciating pain. I am a teacher and I have to do it for you students. But senor, you're the only one who can teach this class. There's no one else. No, Keith, you're wrong. There is another. Sir, it's been an honor serving. Likewise, Keith. Now go! Save yourself. Don't look back. There's no one in our class anymore. Because this year is gonna be horrible! Senior is dead, guys. <laughs> okay! 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 Everybody! <laughs> TJ! TJ, be calm. Before he died, Arthur, before he died, Senor Hay told me something very important. He said, there is another. Now, since I'm the only third year digital multimedia student in this class, I can only assume that he meant me. Now, I know I don't have any teaching credentials or, or anything special like that, but I do know that I'm going to do my best to get us through another year of Husky Vision with a great show. You know, we could do something great. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Ochoa, and I'm gonna be your digital multimedia teacher. In this class, we will not be doing movies, you will not be making videos, you will be making films! Only films! You will not be touching the equipment, the Max, you will not be touching those at all, you will not be touching the books, you will not be... No questions in this class! Get out! There will be no drinking, no sleeping, no eating, no breathing in this class. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Good. This, this is mine now. I own it. This is a visual representation of this class. I am better than you. Is that over too? You too! Get out! Get out! Right now! Everybody will do exactly what I say, do you understand me? This is gonna look the best, because I am doing everything! 
This <laughs> Rocho, isn't this the best intro ever? Okay, Johnny, I don't know where you got this idea that the classroom was ran this way, but it's not accurate at all. There's nothing accurate whatsoever about the way this video is representing my class. I don't even know how you were able to film it. But my class Mr. is not like- I said no questions! That's it, give me your lunch money! Give me all your lunch money! I've been looking for Keith. He's nowhere to be found. After Mr. Ochoa took over Husky Vision, just kind of left. Wait, there he is. Let's go see what he's up to. Ah, oh, good, Arthur, you're here. Come closer. I just love the smell of ditto machines in the morning, don't you? Of course, you're probably wondering why you're here. I'll tell you. Because even though Mr. Ochoa has taken over the digital multimedia class and Husky Vision, he hasn't taken over Top Dog News. That, my friends, still belongs to me. All right, gents, who's ready to do another exciting edition of Husky Vision? Sounds good to me. All, <laughs> All right, let's see what we're doing this month. There seems to be a problem with Top Dog News. Did, uh, did my name fall off the board? Does anybody know? Well, it looks like you're on focus this month, Keith. Well, I can do both. I don't have any trouble with that. Uh, Keith, can you please step into my office? Okay. Uh, Nico, I'm gonna need the office. Mm -hmm. Oh, I understand. Hey, hold on a second. Here's a hundred dollars for your trouble. Thank you. Keith, please have a seat. I, uh, I noticed my name wasn't on the board for, for Top Dog News. Yeah, see, that's uh, something I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, Keith, as you know, the United States has been going through a little bit of an economic downturn. Mm. So, we're gonna have to make some cutbacks around here. Uh, okay, who are we firing? Well, see, that's the thing. Um, look, I like you, Keith. You've been really great to us. You've been Top Dog for, what, two years now? It's been awesome, but you're qualified for this job. In fact, you're a little bit overqualified. What I'm trying to say is, I like you, but we're gonna have to let you go. Let me go? Yes. What? Mr. Ochoa, the new hire is here. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, here. Here's a hundred dollars for your troubles. What? Hi, I'm Rose. Hey. What was that? What was what? That. What, what, what that? The girl that walked in. Oh, that! Yes. You see, this is how it works, Keith. I'm firing you, right? And I'm outsourcing your job. I'm outsourcing Top Dog to somebody else that works for less money than you do. Because of the economy. Mr. Ochoa, I work for $15 a week. Look, I like you, okay? So, I put together this lovely uh, severance package. A severance package! For you. Um, it's really nice. It's gift wrapped. It's got these little dangly things. It's got uh, some Fairmont pencils. Uh, that little bag in there is a melted Twix bar. It's kind of been in my car for a few weeks because I put this off. Oh, there's some, uh, there's, uh, there's a True Gits, True Grits gift certificate in here. You can use that to buy uniforms now since, you know, you're a senior. You're really going to need these uniforms. So if you just, here, you can just take Take that, and um, you know, if you need a letter of recommendation or something, I can try and write one for you. Um, I'm kind of busy. I got like a whole like stack of other things to do, but I'll really try and write you one. Um, have a good life. I, I I really can't believe this. This is just this is like something out of up in the air. That's it. I've had just about enough of this, Mr. Ochoa. You come in here. You think you can change something that's been going great for three years? Well, it's not gonna happen. I promise you, Mr. Ochoa. Things aren't gonna change. I'll be back. You wait and see. I promise you. Hey, Justin, I need to get in there. Oh, you can't get in there. Why not? Well, Mr. Choi said you're not allowed. Mm hmm. Hey, you know what, Justin? I think I, I think I can hear somebody calling you. I don't hear anyone. 
I, I, I can swear I hear them out there. You, you know, you go ahead. I'll, I'll hold the door for you for a while. I'll trust you. Yeah, trust you. thanks. <sighs> Sometimes this is just too easy. Like a mouse! Keith, what are you doing here? Well, Mr. Ochoa, what can I say? After I saw just how terrible last month's top dog was, I uh, felt I owed it to you to come back and uh, give you another chance to hire me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna happen, Keith, okay? I fired you for a reason. We let you go. There's no room in the budget for you. Well, I, I think I can rectify that situation. You know, if it was any other day of the week, at any other time of year, this would probably be a lot more dramatic, but uh, as it is, I'm just going to uh, give you a little incentive. <clears throat> yeah, how dare you? How dare you think that I can be bought? No thank you. Okay, you're hired. All right, thank you very much. I thought that might uh, change your mind. You gas so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now get back to work! All in good time, Mr. Ochoa. All in good time. War is a terrible thing. War tears us asunder. War takes us to the places we hoped and prayed we would never need to go. War washes away everything we hold dear. But now, war has come. At long last, it has come. Somehow, I think, we all knew this was coming. We begged and bartered with ourselves, trying not to face the truth that has stared us in the face from the start. From the very beginning of the year, there have been bitter divisions within the fabric of Husky Vision. There have been those who would try to supersede experience with a credential, a scrap of paper whose value, if anything, pales in comparison to actual practice. There are those who would try to usurp my authority, my throne, those who claim to know something anything about how to run a studio, a production, a film. There have been those who challenge me to my very face and defy the orders of their superior, someone who knows better. The time has come for change. The time to put an end to the vicious cycle of destruction and save Husky Vision from the very thing it has become. The time has come to put down this rebellion before it begins to strike first and save Husky Vision from becoming what they want it to be. There are others discontented with the current state of affairs, others who have been repressed by the tyranny of the system. I know them, I have spoken to them, I have gained their trust. Together we will take this fight to the top. I know who is truly loyal to Husky Vision and the spirit of Senor He. I have spoken to them, learned their fears and helped to set them straight. With their help, we will crush this insurrection. Already the signs are becoming clear. This fight has turned brother against brother, friend against friend. No friendship is safe. No magic, no special supernatural power can protect us from the illness that has torn us apart. Everyone loyal to the spirit of Husky Vision has joined me. Everyone who wants this show to succeed is on my side. The battle will be decided here. Now, in the hearts and minds of the soldiers on both sides. His troops against mine. Segment to segment. The best segment wins, winner take all. And the team with the most wins, wins the war. This will be the ultimate test of our abilities, the final hurdle to overcome. We will fight for freedom. We will fight for order. For liberty. For justice. For good. For peace. For, for Husky, Husky Vision. Vision. This is war. This is how it begins.
Nico, you are my last hope. Do you understand me? My yeah. last hope. Uh, you are the last uh, thing standing between Mr. Ochoa and total victory and dominance over Husky Vision. Yeah. All right, you have to take out whoever his last person is. We've lost everyone else on both sides, yeah. but you can take out whoever he's going to bring into it. I will. Your segment, yes. yours is perfect. It's a lum update. It's yes. the perfect. It's the secret weapon, all right? Yes! You go out there, you take out whoever he's got in I will it. take him out! You do it! I'll go, take him out! Go, go, go! Okay, Nico, excellent. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, you're the last person I have left. You're the last person on either side. So here's what you have to do. Yeah. You have to go up against whoever Keith is throwing out at you. Okay? Yeah. Go out there. Fight whoever it is. You've got a lump update. It's the best segment in the show. Yeah. We all know that, okay? Yes. You've an awesome job. Just do it. All right, go, 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 Let's do it. Go, Let's do it. go. What? Nico, what are you doing here? I told you to go out I there. You, but, you, but you know, no, 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 it's Ochoa's. You're on my but side. You know, okay, no, 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 just, just go. What are you doing here? I'm here for... No, you gotta go fight the person who you're supposed to fight. Go fight now. Go. Oh my god. But... Man, the opponent... Nico defeated himself. Alright, well whose side do we count his points for? Mine! No, mine! He was on my side! It was on mine! It was on mine! All right, no, look, it doesn't matter either way. It, was, it would still be a tie, even if we counted the points for both sides. All right, we've got one segment left. Top Dog News. You think you've won? Yes, it's mine. I win by default. Wrong. I have a better idea. Name it. We have a Top Dog off. You versus me, man to man. I like it. It's risky. It's new. It's something we haven't done before. You've got guts saying something I like that, Mr. Ochoa. Yes, thank you very much. Shall we? I agree. Pull up a chair, Ochoa. Let's do this. Time for a new round. It's the elections. March 26th, 29th. Teacher in service day. March 30th. Down to April 6th. Spring break. 9th to the 13th. Bam! Uh, oh, all right, that's it, Mr. Ochoa. Obviously, this isn't working. You're right. I didn't want to resort to this, but I am going to have to use lethal force. Right. Let's do this! Do you understand me? This is the end! There will only be one person walking away from this! Okay! Let's get to it! <laughs> I can work with this. Looks like you lost this round, Mr. Ochoa. <laughs> it's time to get to work. Reading cards to Mr. Ochoa. This is how it feels. This is what the teacher's life is like. <laughs> morning, Mr. Schaller. Good 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 morning, Mr. Schaller. All right. Good morning, class. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Schaller. Very good. 
much better than yesterday. Mr. Perdue. Yes, Mr. Schaller? You're in my chair. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you about... know what happens to people who sit in my chair? Uh, no. This. <laughs> well, since it seems we need a little reminding about some of the rules in this class, I'll go over it for you again. You will not touch the equipment. You will not touch the max. There will be no eating. There will be no drinking. Will you stop crawling? Get up and use your two legs like a human being. You are a human being in this class. Now if I may continue. There will be no sleeping in this class. And there will be, above all, no breathing in this class. If you recall, I showed you a visual representation of this class. With me now, class, I am better than you. I am better than you. Mr. Shallow speaking. All right. All right, thank you. I'll be right over. You'll have to excuse me for a moment, class. Kaylee, you're in charge. <sighs> Kaylee, we have to get out of here now. No breathing! Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Oh, hello, Mr. Hello, Schaller. Dr. Brent Setter. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you, Please sir. Have I'm a seat. <laughs> so, Mr. Shower, you know that we're very happy to have you here in lieu of the fact that you won your fight with Mr. Ochoa <laughs> and are now in charge of Husky Vision. Of course, of course. But I have to tell you, after doing some very serious number crunching, I have some bad news. Sir? And that is that. Husky Vision has been canceled. But, but, but sir, I haven't even had the chance and to do an episode yet. I, but, but please, you have to give me another chance. Well, what I can tell you is that you can clear out of your room because you won't be needing it anymore either. Oh, but, but sir, I just finished cleaning out that room. I went not. Thank you for your time, Dr. Brenston. Alias set in Catorum, Genesis Lovo, and Pasta. It's uh, it's me, Senor Hey, it's me, Keith. Keith! Oh, hey, dude, what's up? How you been? How's Husky Vision? Hey, did you get into any colleges yet? I bet you're looking forward to the prom on May 26th, huh? 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 I know you are. I know you are. No, no, you are. You are. You are. I failed you. The Husky Vision is dead. What? 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 
Where is Mr. Ochoa? It, it doesn't matter. I, it, he, they took it away from us. You're trying to run Husky Vision without Mr. Ochoa. You can't! I can! I, 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 t I want it at fair and square from him, all right? I won. Look at the way you're treating your peers! My students. Yeah, whatever. Look, the point is, you and Mr. Ochoa are the same. You need each other. You cannot do this without each other's help. You need to go find them. Find them. You're right. I know you, I'm right. Of course you're right. Yes. But I need to go find Mr. Ochoa. I have to make That's amends for this. Good. Hey! You didn't dismiss me! Come on! <laughs> God, what is this place? M Mr. Ochoa! Oh! Well, if it isn't Keith! Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Schaller. Mr. Ochoa, you actually live here? <laughs> yes, this is where I live now, because this is all I can afford now that you've got me fired. Hey, now that was a fair fight. We agreed to it, both of us. All right, I all won right. fair and square. Hey, all right, whatever. Why don't you come in? Have a seat. Let me give you the five cent tour. Uh, I'll pass. Please Thanks. have a seat. No, I insist. If you go, okay, look at this. This is my desk. This is where I do all of my work. I have a nice flat writing area where I can do all my papers and stuff. Very professional. It is very professional. If you come over here, come over here. Come have a look. Come on. Come on. All right, you're fine right there. Well, I want to give you these these pancakes that I just made on my new grill. Please have some. On your grill? Yes, my grill pancakes. Your grill that's not plugged in. It's, that's not how it works, Keith. You know that. You just pour stuff on there and boom, you get pancakes. Come on. Okay, all right. Look, Mr. Ochoa, well, that's all very understand. nice, but I really need to talk you to you about something. Okay, look, okay. listen. There's okay. one more thing. Let me just show this to you, all right? All right. Really all right. quick. All right. Okay. It's the best thing that's happened to me. Okay, ready? This is my pet mouse, Rocky. Mr. Ochoa. Look at it. Listen, listen, listen. Squeak! See? It made a noise. Uh, look, Mr. Ochoa, so all right, cute. look, we it's don't horrible. need, I don't have time no. for this, all right? Mr. Ochoa, Mr. Ochoa, I need to talk to you about something. This is very important. Mr. Ochoa, I don't have time for this. You understand? Do you understand me? Oh. Oh. Rocky! Damn it, Mr. Ochoa! Get out of it! You theater slapped me. <sighs> all right. That's fine, Keith. What can I do for you? Something terrible has happened, Mr. Ochoa. Walk with me. Well, I don't really know how to say this, Mr. Ochoa, but Husky Vision's been canceled. What? What did you do? Nothing, all right? They just, they called me in and suddenly my room is gone. Oh, my crew is gone. I've got nothing, Absolutely nothing I can work with. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Look, I had a, let's call it an epiphany, all right? And I realized that if there's any chance of getting Husky Vision up and running again, then I'm going to need your help. What good can I do? Okay, this is my first year here. We started out really strong, but these last couple of episodes have been really terrible. No, Keith. look, all right. Senor Hay chose you. All right, he chose you to carry on his legacy, to follow through, to make Husky Vision strong. No, Keith. He chose us. Let's do this, Husky Vision. I guess you're right. I mean, I guess I could anchor if it really came down to that, but Mr. Ochoa, even I can't take on a whole Husky Vision by myself. I mean, I need crew, I need actors, I need people who are willing to help. Did somebody say they needed an anchor? Kelly, my old co-star. Can it really be you? Yes, yes it is. Well, the real question. Would you be willing to help me film? Yeah, whatever. Uh, guys, um, we don't have a crew or a room or a green screen or anything, so I don't know how we're going to do this. Oh, that is for amateurs. But, all right. Let's do this Husky Vision. I don't, you guys. Oh, hey, look, it's Nico and Yana. How convenient. Oh, Mr. Schaller, we were waiting for you in the room, but then all of a sudden a dark hooded mysterious figure came in. He had deer legs. It was, it was very weird, but then he kicked us out. So we decided to join some sports teams, you know. Yeah, so full's life now. Come on. Baseball is obviously better. Oh my god, stop it! We had the discussion this uh, the other day. Well, I mean, it's great that you guys are doing so well, but I just really want to get you back together for Husky Vision. There's definitely something strange going on. Yeah, we have to reunite the whole team. Yeah, we should probably start with Kaylee. You know, she was at least competent. 
You know, I heard that they're in uh, London for the music festival. Wait, they're in London right now? I'm gonna go get them. So what now? Well, we have to find the rest of the crew, get them back together for Husky Vision for the next episode. Mm. Hey, look, it's Justin and Nagin. Wasn't Justin just with you guys? Nagin, Justin. What have you guys been up to? Hey, Keith. Well, since Husky Vision's been over, we've been doing a lot of community service. Yeah, I've been working on this drawing for the Children's Art Festival on May 19th. Isn't it just lovely? And I've been preparing for the Christie's Foundation Festival on June 9th to 10th. Volunteering can give you up to 15 hours of community service. And... And what? Is that really all you've done? Isn't that enough? That's so Justin. Huh? So, how can we help you? Well, I mean, I could really use do you, you guys... Do you want to help us do community service? Sure, just as soon as we save Husky Vision. Ooh, 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 can I help? Me too, but I don't know how now that Dr. Mandir is in the old room. Wait, 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 wait. So he's the guy that got the room. Then who was that dark figure that kicked us out? You know, Nico, you may be right. Maybe... Maybe Mandir does have something to do with this. We need more information. We need a spy. Where's Tian Yi? Hey, Mr. Mandir. What makes you want to get a job at Fairmont? I came to Fairmont because I was told that there was a situation with the uh, Honors Chemistry and College Prep class, and um, a colleague of mine that taught here last year, Mrs. McAdam, uh, informed me of the position, and um, I figured it was a good opportunity and it would help the kids. What do you teach at Fairmont? I teach honors chemistry and college prep chemistry. I know that you are a roaming teacher. How do you feel about not having a room? It is really difficult being a roaming teacher because you have to travel a lot. You don't really have a set place that you are all the time. And especially going to my third period class and coming back from a, from it to my fourth period, I have to go all the way across the campus. If you were a Star Wars character, which one would it be? If I was a Star Wars character, I would probably want to be something like Darth Maul, where um, he just had a great reveal in the scene, had a great combat scene. What do you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I usually uh, play video games or read books. What is your favorite movie and why? My favorite movie is The Usual Suspects because of the big twist at the end. I heard that you were a doctor. Are you a witch doctor? No. Is it true that you secretly practice magic? No, where did you hear that? Do you really have goat legs? No. Why are you asking these questions? Okay, Dr. Mandir, thank you for your time. You know, I guess I don't understand how these things can happen, but you know, it just it happens to the best of families. So. I couldn't find any more information. Okay, okay. Don't, don't worry about it. It's probably not even him. It's, it's probably somebody else. But who? Where's TJ, Arthur, and Jason? They went to Hollywood. They made a movie. You must be kidding. No, they took my shoes, okay? They had to pay for the movie somehow. Here, let's go in the library. I'll show you the movie. Oh. T minus three, two, one. From the acclaimed writer and director of Dark Owl comes a story about a cop who didn't play by the rules. I don't play by the rules! The trials that haunted him. and the partner that changed him. I want you to meet Squirrel Cap. There will be bromance. Squirrel Cop, you're not lying, Squirrel Cop. No joke, you're done, man. There will be explosions. There will be action. Stop on that! There will be squirrels. Squirrels.
Squirrel Cop. But you, Squirrel Cop, you're not a human. I believe you can change me. Teach me a thing or two. And, Squirrel Cop, I am proud to call you my partner. D don't, don't, don't touch, don't touch my suspenders. Uh, well, that was interesting. I didn't get it. How dare you! We worked hard on that! Oh, did you now? Yes, Mr. Schaller! It was terrible. How dare you? What were we supposed to do, huh? Well, we got fired, huh? Hmm? Well, we'll not make something terrible like no, that. No, we swept the room. Whoa, you guys need to chill. Learn how to respect each other. All right, fine. Let's all respect each other and go get our room back. Oh, come on. We need a place to plan first. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. Guys, I found Kevin and Rose and Kaylee, but I don't know where she went. But anyway, we're back from London. We're ready to do this Husky Vision. All right, it's good to have you back. Let's do it. Nice. Guys, I found out that Mandir is the one who took our room. Yeah, we know. Oh, no. 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 He's, no. he's actually a man deer. A man and a deer. Yeah, he does. Yes, we know. Yeah, we know. Yeah, he's already disproven. No, I saw him! Well, you know what we have to do now? I do. We're gonna have to fight for Husky Vision. Alright, everyone, listen up! Men. Women. Children. Johnny. I'm proud to stand before all of you today because tomorrow we go into battle to meet our enemy head on I know some of you have families lives Facebook updates to make it's true some of you may die but you will die heroes you will die legends saviors of Husky Vision did he say some of us were gonna die? Are you serious? I'm pretty sure it's just an expression. If you die, you might miss some... some very exciting stuff. You might be missing the spring concert on Tuesday, April 24th, where our choirs, our band, and our orchestra will perform. Wait, I'm, I'm in that. I'm in that too. You'll also miss the spring sports rally on Friday, April 27th. Our teams have worked so hard that that would be unfortunate. Oh my God. <laughs> Most of all, you'd miss Denim Day on May 4th, and AP and IB testing would start on May 7th. And you'd miss prom on May 26th, and Memorial Day holiday on May 28th. But most importantly, for those of you who are seniors, You'll miss graduation on May 31st. But truly, can there be any graduation without a Husky vision? No! No! Now heed your commander's words, for they are that of wisdom. I don't have much more to say, except to die well. Now, it's been a wonderful year with all of you. Thank you for welcoming me into your Husky Vision family. You are all like my family. But this is the time that we will fight to retain Husky Vision. We will fight for honor. We will fight for glory. For the honor of Senor Hay. For Fairmont. For Husky Vision! <laughs>
Repeat. War tears us asunder. To have order, there must be peace. To have peace, we must make war. For our birthright has been taken from us, stolen by a usurper to the Husky Vision Room, removed an enemy that threatens our very existence. Now we must fight and win if we are to survive. We are unstoppable. We are legion. We are Husky Vision. Sound the horns! Well, hello! So nice of you to meet me here. What do you want with us, Dr. Mandir? Not just Dr. Mandir. I am Mandir. What happened to you? Well, I am not only a scientist. I am a mad scientist, and one day when I was doing experiments, I was bitten by a radioactive deer. So now, every Friday, I turn into a man-deer. As in, half man, half deer, if you couldn't tell. Wait, so not only are you the one who got our room, but you are also the one who shut us down. And here you are. Now use that brain and surrender. Never! As long as our army stands, there will always be a Husky Vision at this school. You don't have the power of science on your side. What good could you possibly be? No one class is any more important than any other. Math and science are not all there is to life. True, the humanities aren't either, but still. It's the power of art that unites us, and it's the power of art that's going to bring you down. Surrender now, or be destroyed. Me? Surrender? Never! The fields will run red with your blood. So be it. Better to give our lives today, than see our show canceled tomorrow. Slaughter the lot of them, leave none of them standing, and claim glory in the name of chemistry!
end here. You might have defeated all of my students, but you have not defeated me. And now, it's time for our duel. No. Should I say, dead dog? <coughs> Still some life left in you. <coughs> Why? What? I know I'm dying. Just tell me. Why are you hunting us? You don't get it, do you? It's not all about you. Do you know what it's like to roam? To prance from room to room? Do you know how far it is from one side of the school to the other? It's like... ridiculously far! What does that have to do with us? It's not you. It's your room. I use science and math the way they're meant to be used. For evil! I convinced Dr. Brenstetter not only to cancel your stupid show, but also to give me that room so I could have it all to myself. While I agree that it is a long way from one side of the school to the other, <coughs> you have no right to punish us for someone else's bad design. Because, Dr. Man, dear, you've forgotten the most important rule of Husky Vision. What's that? I am better than you! What? Remember the raffle, Dr. Mandir, way back when? And our third person is the headmaster of the day. And this person is... Keith Schaller. I won headmaster for a day. And as headmaster, I'm your boss. And as your boss, it gives me great pleasure to tell you you're fired. Look at me. Yes. Look at me. Keith. So... Everything's perfect. We did it, Keith. You saved Husky Vision. Generations upon generations of students will sing of this day.
pay respects. He was a great warrior. He See. saved us all. He saved Husky Fish. Yes, he did. Help me bury the body. Notice of student demises. Number one, Jonathan Choi. Number two. Oh, hello. Did not realize you were still there. Uh, here, I can take that from you. Uh, thank you, Kaylee, for all your hard work for filming this event. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, I, I guess you can I guess you can go now. Just okay. can graduate. Um, where where are you going to college? Boston. Oh, cool. That that's awesome. Oh, um, okay. Well, bye. Bye. Are are you gonna remember us? No. Oh. Okay. Well. Bye. Bye. Have a nice life. You too. Bye. Bye.